Behind the Königsplatz you will find a small square laid out in a rounder that is often overlooked by tourists. It's the Karolinplatz. And in the middle of the square there's an obelisk. But not an ancient Egyptian obelisk like the one found in Egypt in Rob on the St. Peter's Square or in Paris on the Place de la Concorde. This one isn't even made out of stone, but rather bronze. He is also much younger and yet he tells an interesting story and a lie. There are four inscriptions on the base of the obelisk. The first tells us that it was built by our Grecophil king Ludwig I. And it was completed, this is what the second inscription tells us, on the Kvi October MZC. For those of you who can only count from Rocky 1 to Rocky 5, let me illustrate. It was completed on the 18th October 1833. The third inscription states why the obelisk was built. Den 30.000 Bayern, die im Russischen Kriege den Tod fanden. The 30.000 Bavarians who died in the Russian war. First of all, it is interesting that 3630 is written with an Y and not with an I as it is written today. The Grecophil Ludwig has struck again. <laughs> However, since then, Bayern, Bavaria has been spelled with a Y and that is how it has remained. Bavaria used to be written with an I before that. Back to the content of the inscription. Which Russian war are we talking about here? This is of course Napoleon's invasion of Russia. This campaign ended in a disaster. Due to the fighting, illness and the Russian winter, only 68 men of the over 300,000 Bavarian soldiers returned home. And the last inscription of the obelisk is a blatant lie. It is written, auch sie starben für des Vaterlandes Befreiung. Befreiung again with an Y instead of an I. In English this means, they also died for the liberation of the fatherland. But I'm not aware of a square inch of Bavarian land in Russia. These soldiers didn't fight against Napoleon, but invaded with him Russia. The Bavarian ruling dynasty of the Wittelsbacher naturally owed a great deal to Napoleon. Napoleon turned Bavaria from an electorate into a kingdom. Bavaria also remained a kingdom due to timely changes of alliances. However, Ludwig I preferred not to look so closely and therefore fudged history. If this was informative for you, like, subscribe, leave a comment and if you're interested in a guided tour through Munich by me, just contact me, you find my email address here and um, see you in the next video.